Hi, Christopher Pogue here once again with uh, Anarchy Movie Reviews. This time I'm reviewing the first season of uh, Cobra Kai. This is a YouTube original series. Uh, they've done a then they've done a whole season already, and so I, and the new season starts uh, this year sometime. Uh, no, no release date has been set, but I'm I'm thinking it's going to be around May. Um, so. Uh, it's a, it's like I said, it's a YouTube series. Uh, you just go on YouTube, and you can watch the first uh, few episodes for free, and uh, uh, after that, you have to upgrade to YouTube Premium. But uh, last I checked, they give you um, the first couple of months for free. If you don't like it, you can cancel before you're charged. Uh, so this is a, this is a continuation of the Karate Kid story. Uh, not just Daniel LaRusso's story, but also his, uh, his high school bully, uh, Johnny Lawrence. Uh, th yeah, this is a fun, nostalgic show uh, with a modern take. It's, uh, it's a present day update on, uh, on the Karate Kid, uh, LaRusso, played by Ralph Macchio, and, uh, and, and Lawrence, played by William Zabka. Uh, so what's what's going on with them in, in the modern day is that uh, LaRusso, he's a successful car dealership owner, and uh, and Lawrence, uh, he he's he's kind of a loser. He's a failed contractor, and his life's just kind of a shit show. And uh, so uh, Lawrence, he meets this uh, bullied high school kid named Miguel, and then he decides to reopen the uh, Cobra Kai dojo and become a karate sensei, uh, much to uh, LaRusso's disapproval. Yeah, so, uh, you know, what's great about this show is that it's a, uh, it's, it's a tr kind of a tragic comedy about uh, not letting go of the past and holding on to old grudges. And uh, the thing is, is that uh, the so-called hero of the story and the so-called villain of the story are 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 guilty of that. Um, yeah, in a way, the, this becomes a story about uh, legacy and uh, in righting the wrongs of the past. Uh, the problem is, though, is that uh, LaRusso and Lawrence are, yeah, they're they're kind of more interested in righting each other's wrongs or perceived wrongs, at least, uh, and you know, instead of uh, writing writing their writing their own wrongs. Yeah, see, because they both have uh, teenage kids who are kind of going down the wrong path. Um, yeah, Lawrence's son, he's an angry young punk, and uh, LaRusso's daughter hangs with uh, kind of a rich, uh, popular uh, crowd of bullies. Yeah, and so the addition of this secondary teenage cast, uh, it kind of makes very intelligent points about about generational differences, I think. Uh See the millennial generation; uh, they they have kind of lost their masculinity with all this all this PC shit. Let's be honest. Uh, I mean, Lawrence, you know, he's a rough karate sensei, but uh, I mean, he toughens up this pussy group of kids, you know, and gets them to stop spouting all this, uh, you know, all this crap about genderizing. I mean, uh, yeah. I guess, uh, you know, you don't want to take that too far, but I mean, uh, the, there's two genders for a reason. I don't think, you know, boys and girls being different is, is such a bad thing. Uh, that's all I'm saying. Uh, I mean, Lawrence, I mean, he does take this macho shit too far, but I mean, he, it's not all bad advice. Uh, he, he kind of, I think he just kind of needs to learn f from the late Mr. Miyagi, uh, you know the lessons about balance that uh, that Larusso passes on to his own student, and um, so the younger generation, this younger generation, they learn from from Larusso and Lawrence uh, about the past, but but only one side of it, and uh, so they're kind of doomed to repeat the same mistakes because of that, and and in that way. The story it, it be kind it kind of becomes this Shakespearean family feud tale. Uh, real, really smart stuff. I mean, I, mean, I don't mean to uh, overstate it. I mean, really, this this show is just it's just kind of a fun action comedy. 
and uh, but uh, you know it's it's another reason uh, having the younger cast works uh, because Macho or sorry Machio and uh, Zabka I mean they're a little too old to be karate fighting uh, to be honest uh, I think they're they're in their fifties now. I mean, they they kind of look like if they were going to get into a fight, it's it, it would be over the last thing of Brill Cream at Walmart. Um, yeah. So, uh, all in all, it's a terrific show. I mean, it's got everything: I mean, action, comedy, romance. Uh, it's great drama, and and it's got a surprise uh, ending to the first season um, that I think will make you want to come back and watch some more. All right. So uh, you know, thanks for watching. Uh, Hope I have more than two subscribers now. <laughs> I guess we'll see. But uh, but uh, thank you, loyal f subscribers, uh, all both of you that I know about for uh, for watching. Uh, all right. So uh, and I'll see you next time. Thank you very much. Bye.